How are you doing? This is Kevin McCain with Idaho Art Classes and Kevin McCain Studios. Uh, we're going to talk real quick about how we, uh, what is the technique that we use for proportional measuring. And I've got here my little siding stick. I could also use a pencil or something of that nature to, uh, usually we have a pencil in hand. If I was painting, I could use a paintbrush. So it doesn't matter what you use because we're not, we're not using a tape measure. We're not measuring actual, you know, feet and inches, what we're doing instead is we're trying to get that proportion of how much does the width divide into the height or the how much does the shorter side then divide into the longer side. And that's what the idea of proportional measuring. So to do this, and maybe I'll use this pencil because it's a little easier to see, is that what I would do is you always, you want good posture, you're gonna, and I know we got some, some distortion here, because of the camera so my fist probably looks really huge and my head really small but the idea is that we we want to lock our elbow lock our wrist and hold it lock our fingers so we're always holding it in the same place lock our shoulder we want good posture you know you know you want your shoulders back and your chest out and your tummy in like you're being pulled like with a little string all that good posture stuff we want to be using that so again in that way that we're always in the same place because if you take measurements where you start doing this once I move it, so you kind of think of like you're, you're, you're pushing this against an invisible pane of glass. The moment I lift off that piece of glass or if I push beyond it, because I'm doing this, the measuring doesn't work. You've got to have it at the same distance every time. So again, lock your elbow, lock your shoulder, lock your fingers and your wrist. And if it helps, go ahead and put your other hand underneath your hand like you're pointing, you know, like you're going to you know, shoot a gun or something like that, um, trying to think of something that doesn't sound quite so violent, but where you're sighting down something, uh, you're also going to close one eye. So again, you can only have one eye that you're sighting down this, like, um, look, again, looking through, I guess, through a camera sort of thing. Um, but that's how we're going to use, and then we're going to, the way we take the measurement is we're going to move our thumb up and down this pencil. So we look from the tip to the thumb. So if it's a small measurement, you know, very small increment from the tip to the thumb. If it's a bigger one, much bigger from the thumb to the, to the tip of that pencil. So again, we're going to be moving our, th our thumb up and down, eye closed, supporting our elbow, and we're going to take a measurement with that. It's just a very rudimentary uh, gauging device or measuring device. And so that's how we do it. Um, again, you, you want to stay in the same place each time. You don't want to be rocking forward or rocking back because the moment you change it it doesn't work you don't want to be doing this because again you always want to lock your elbow because that way you have a better chance of keeping in the same place if you have an easel sometimes people will hang their e their hand and touch like their board or something the drawing board so again they're always at the same place every time they take a measurement okay so i'm gonna show this i'm gonna try to shoot this back behind my shoulder and uh you know, show show you show me taking some measurements of the still life that we just we just talked about here just a moment ago. And again, proportional measuring is really great. It will help your drawing in so many ways. And what it is supposed to help you do is you don't want to sit there and take meticulous little measurements each and every time. Usually, you don't want to take any more than three to five at the most. Five is a lot. And there's a point at which if you keep measuring, you, you it starts to break down. Okay. And, and what we want to do is, if you start measuring stuff, we want to start building our basic sense of proportion. Because usually, you know, we don't have a really good sense for proportion or measurement. Uh, so through this, through this proportional measuring, we get a better sense of it so we can use it much more quickly in sketching without having to pull out a pencil every time and measure stuff. Okay, so sometimes you'll have people that you'll sit down and watch them draw and they've drawn for 20 years and they're experts and you know everyone law you know talks about them how great they are and you might see them might take this and they might do just a couple of measurements and they sit it down and away they go. Or some people will jump right on in. You know, some animators, people that are used to drawing lots of stuff very quickly, again they have a really good developed sense of proportion, they just jump right on in there. And so we don't want this to become a crutch. Some people start doing this where they don't do anything without measuring meticulously. And it, it almost becomes like this life raft that they just are clinging to and they don't dare let go because they're not sure, if, you know, they don't know how to swim. Uh, we want it to be a tool that we can use when we need to. If we use it for the, you know, like our first 20 drawings, 30 drawings, we'll start to build a better sense of proportion, you know, in our, in our, in our, our visual CPU, if you will, our, our computer here, our brain. 
and uh, it'll just make you a better artist. And that's the whole point of it. It's not to make you, you know, always take out that pencil. You know, you're gonna get get you know experience enough where you're like, you know, you don't either want to get bogged down with it, or if you're like afraid to not take measurements, start drawing without taking measurements because again, you don't want it to become a crutch that then can hold you back. It, because when you do this, it tightens you up, and so you have less gesture, less freedom, less movement, all that great stuff that makes is, is a part of drawing as well. So proportion is just one small aspect of it. But do try it. It will help your drawings immensely. This has been Kevin McCain with Kevin McCain Studios and Idaho Art Classes. Thank you very much. Take care.